OTG has become a front-end developer in less than 10 minutes. Let's get right into it. First of all, you want to download... This is it. This is literally it, guys. This is it. This is the ebook that I've been working on. It's called FreeJS Essentials, a beginner's guide, part one. This is part one of the ebook. You can definitely... You want to download Visual Studio Code. Doesn't matter if you even know what it is or what it's... What it can or what it can do is basically a code edit editor, and that is all that you need to know. So let's get right into it, guys. Basically, download download for Windows Stable Build. If you have a Mac, it will, it will probably showcase uh, the Mac version to you. So just download it. Please go ahead, download it, install it, and let's get right into it. After after installing Visual Studio Code, it will probably say, uh, get you through um, what is it called. Um, guide you through how to how to set it up and that is basically it so open a folder in visual studio code and then create uh, create an nd an index.html file what else you also want to create a style file so basically style.css uh, style.css and you also want to create a script that script.js so we are working with both html css and javascript that is the complete package for to become a front-end developer it's, it's actually <laughs> but you, you have to learn a lot more you also have to learn about frameworks we'll do future videos on those topics so script.js in the index.html file you basically want to let's just create some basic stuff and you also want to download this extension called live server live server there we go this is the live server and let me just make sure that everything is being recorded it is so let's get right into it uh, what we want to do, except for now, uh, what we what we want to do uh, for now is basically go into the index.html, type type this in. I don't know what you call this symbol in English, but just type it in and then type enter, and that is what you get. Let's go and basically um, click on the in, right click on the index.html file and click on open with live server, and it should open up a new window here. Yes. There we go, inspect element, let's just see, it, it says absolutely nothing, but if you look at this uh, document over here, we can actually change that. So let's do that as a first thing. Let's say, uh, become a front-end, front-end in 10 men. And it basically changes it over here, that is your first website, guys, this is your first website. And let's link our style, let's link our style, style script, or style file over here. Uh, let's just click on all these there we go and that is it we want to pin these so we so they don't go missing just pin these so we've also linked these and we also want to link what is it called um the js file i guess you can also do that over here so link dot link uh what is it called script script dot source and we basically say, what do we say? We call it script.js. And that is it. And just so, just to basically check if it if it's actually working, we want to do console.log, um, console.log, hello, hello, people, hello people. Do we see anything over here? And we say, hello people, guys, we are connected to our script. This is basically the code part. This is the skeleton, this is the flesh, and this is the functionality of the... Imagine a human being. Skeleton, the flesh, and the functionality. Guys, I'm teaching you so much stuff in less than 10 minutes. How much time do we have left? We basically have 7 minutes left, so we have plenty of time. Guys, let's flesh out our, let's flesh out our skeleton. A anything that you see right here. Uh, anything that you see right here. That This is our body, guys. This is basically our body. Uh, our butt be this this body so let's create our very first uh, html element and that will basically be a div container so we will say div div, if, div is basically just a building block um, just think about it like that just think about it like building blocks whenever you create a website uh, div class equals container and then you want to close it off and inside this div container Inside this building block, we, we have an H, H1. This is our title. We want to call it something like, hello, welcome, hello, front end, in 10 min. Guys, this is basically it. Hello, front end developer. 
Hello frontend developer and we will give this, what can we say, we will basically give this an ID so we can change it here in the style.css, give it an ID of, uh, let's just say title, uh, h1, ti h1 title, what else, we also want to have a button, so we can change this, uh, what, what, yeah, we can change the color. Of the text content no we don't want to change the color let's just change the inside this uh, this uh, text content and say button dot uh, button button let's give it an id of change text and then we'll say change text so now you can actually see this for now it doesn't really do anything but we will have to create a function inside inside this javascript file uh, called change text uh, let's get right into it mm -mm -mm. i guess we have to style this for now so that's basically it we just created our skeleton now let's flesh it out and i basically have some some standard uh, css it is not really that important Guys, it's really not that important. You can just copy this code. It's absolutely beautiful. It centers everything right in the middle. And we will basically, yeah, let's just say, doo -doo -doo. Oh, it doesn't really wanna go away. I guess that's it. Yeah, but change text, it doesn't really do anything. Uh, what else? Let's go to the JavaScript. So this was the skeleton, the flesh, Let's go to the functionality for now. So we will say, let's get the document. Document that get element by ID. We give it an ID of change text. And then we want to say that unclick. Sorry, change text. And then we say that unclick. What do we want to do then? We want to call a function. Okay guys, I've made a severe mistake. The thing is that we should not be putting the script source over there we should basically put it down here in the body um yeah basically in the body so it loads as the last thing it shouldn't load any uh, so basically a website a website shouldn't load any functionality before it has loaded the visual effects like why would you load the functionality of a button if you haven't even uh, rendered or displayed the button first right so let's do it you have changed the text so please go ahead and change this this before was up here we want to change it just put it down here in the at the end of the body and that's basically it guys you have definitely become a front-end developer how beautiful is this see you guys thank you guys for watching please don't forget to, to subscribe to this channel like this video and comment down below see you in the next one i love you guys so much